Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aries, for the week of November 7th. Let's get right into it. Let's get you a Moon Oracle card for the week of the 7th. Aries, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. <laughs> I don't know how you share, but you're very close to achieving your goal. Oh, I love this. Look at this, Aries. You are very close to achieving your goal. Keep your eye on the prize here. Oh my God, and it's time to take action. The new moon in Aries. <laughs> A new you, Aries. New you popping through. Love the start of this. What kind of animal spirit is walking with Aries? What kind of animal spirit? animal spirit oh my god look how busy you are with the bee here aries wow you've got a lot going on feeling very busy and the snake on the bottom some kind of unrealized potential when it comes to your creativity wow that's a great start look at this very happy color with that bee very happy colors <laughs> all right let's get you a zen tarot card for up in the ether rebirth oh my aries this is a brand new beginning for you something really really big coming in for you <laughs> making you feel all fiery oh and we are the world look at this you are connecting people together bridging gaps uh really mending communication gaps here i just i really love this just seem to know what to say what just fell out here? Five of Pentacles. All right, let's see. <laughs> We're going to pull your head space, your heart space, and the foundation or the reason for the reading. And then we'll pull some clarification cards. But what are you thinking about? What is on your mind, Aries? What is Aries thinking about? Eight of Swords wanted to pop out there. Knight of Swords. Really fast incoming communication or outgoing communication. I think this is you finding the right words at the right time. So yeah, you're just channeling. You're just knowing exactly what to say. Oh, King of Cups. I love this. So uh, yeah, you are really sitting in some calmness here in some peaceful waters, just gathering your thoughts here, taking a minute. Aries is just taking a minute. Wow. What else? What else is going on? <laughs> Maybe taking longer than a minute to figure this out <laughs> with the hanged man coming into the headspace here. Something you've been thinking about for quite some time, some kind of dream or goal or passion or just some kind of feeling you've been wanting, you've been reaching for for a very long time is about to come through for you, Aries, and it's about to come through really strong. What else? What else? You've been preparing for this for a long time. Four of Swords, look at this, healing, healing in the mind space. You're healing your thoughts. You're healing your emotions. You're really in healing mode right now. And that's allowing you to channel and open up to the communication coming through. And you're just an open channel right now. You are just uh, saying the exact right things. And that's what gets you your goal here. That's what just gets you into whatever it is that you want to be into here. I mean, it's just real open door for you, Aries. Oh my God, the sun wanted to come out healing more healing in the heart space aries i love this you are on a healing quest here and it's coming to you you're channeling though you are such an open channel right now look at spirit they're just truly connecting to your heart here in the heart space i mean oh my god it doesn't get any better than that when it comes to healing it all starts with that aries it really really does it just starts with the healing Oh my God, and the Empress, more healing energy, more nurturing energy coming through for you. Aquarius energy um, in the star and Taurus energy in the Empress here. Wow, Aries, I just feel this insanely peaceful feeling washing over you like you just know all is well. That's why you have the right words. That's why you have the right attitude. I mean, everything is calm within you for the first time in a really long time you're feeling calm it feels like a long time since you felt this kind of calmness really open to receiving as well with that empress you're just really 
fertile. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Aries. Wow, what is this? My daughter's in Aries and I cannot wait to see what this is for her. <laughs> the fool, your card comes jumping out. Wow, Aries, this is all about you. You are taking care of you. And in this nurturing, loving way toward yourself too, you just understand that you're healing and that you need a minute and everything is going to change. It's just you are on the precipice of something really, really huge here with the full energy because you're sitting in your element in your heart space. You're not feeling that angst that used to just come washing over you every time you would find this this peaceful feeling it was like you were so afraid to take a time out because that's when things would come in and grab you come in and get you and surprise you and catch you off guard and you were just like i'm not doing that anymore i can't just be woken up from my peaceful slumber in chaos so it doesn't matter what's going on around you any longer aries you are sitting in a energy of peace and fertility and nurturing and compassion and you're turning it all toward yourself to give yourself this beautiful balance with the page of pentacles coming in here in the heart space the major arcana is blowing my mind i mean this is really big change for you that's why rebirth just comes out here in the ether because it is a new rebirth for you it's rebirth you are brand new aries brand new the struggle for money is about to end for you as well with the two of pentacles in the foundation. It has been difficult. It's been uh, two steps forward, three steps back, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to money. But money is one of the things that you are healing right now and you are open to receiving. You had this kind of blockage when it comes to money because I think it came down to your worthiness here, Aries. You just didn't feel worthy of the abundance and riches that the world has to offer. And boy, you're just coming into this sense of worthiness, this sense of um not that you're owed, but that you have paid your dues. That's what it is. You've paid your dues in so many other ways to deserve this abundance that's about to come for you. It's coming for you, Aries. You, you, you probably feel this big change, but it's not making you nervous like it may have in the past. It feels like you were a great predictor of events. So when you'd feel this feeling of angst, or excitement. I think you were mistaking it for worry and angst and uh, because you're so predictive, you're so psychic. So you're uh, not no longer mistaking excitement for nerves. It, it's really beautiful. Look at you letting it go. Let it go. You're just in this real sense of well-being right now and you're letting any kind of worry go any kind of angst go you're just gonna take a minute to sit with yourself and say all is well and you know it's true you know that you've accomplished something you've overcome something here you've endured through something here i think it was a dark night of the soul i know that just sounds so woo-woo-ish but there is a period in our lives where we look at the dark side and we look hard we go deep into those dark times so that we can come out of that and understand the contrast of it understand the other side of it we get this enlightenment of pure light then and we wouldn't understand what that light means if we hadn't gone through this kind of dark period here Aries so whoo you're done with it you are done with it this is a rebirth for you you don't have to visit those dark times any longer don't have to analyze them, don't have to wonder what that was all about. It's just now time to revel in the light, revel in the good times here. Five of swords, it does make you feel a little uncomfortable. This is that uh, differential uh, hard time you have differentiating between nervousness and excitement. Aries, this is excitement coming into you. That's why the fool is here. It's a journey that you haven't been on before because you are always trying to predict the future. You are always trying to protect yourself from the outcome. So that's why you're always uh, so busy, like the bee, predicting the outcome so that you can protect yourself. You can armor up against it. And it saved you. It saved you. It was so necessary to armor up the way you did. 
shit. But now it's time to peel back those layers, Aries. You're safe. You are so worthy of all of the abundance and riches that this universe has to offer. And boy, it's coming to you, whether you even realize it or not. If you're feeling very angsty right now, if you're feeling very headachy, very unsteady, like here we go again. I'm, I'm predicting something's going to happen here. Something's coming. You have this feeling something's coming. It is beautiful what's coming to you because it is a sense of no matter what the world is going through, no matter what my family is going through, no matter what my coworkers are going through or my employer, I am well. And you are just standing in, a, in an unknockable out place. Nobody can take this Aries down now. Nobody can surprise you with something bad happening. It's just not going to happen again, Aries. You you've, you've, uh, graduated from that. You've elevated out of that lesson into the next lesson, into the next cycle here. So congratulations. This is absolutely beautiful. What else in the foundation for Aries? Oh my God, look at this. I see the moon, another major arcana, and I didn't even notice judgment. Aries, this is so beautiful. This is a brand new day for you in emotion, in uh, passion, in creativity, and you've elevated, you've, you've graduated into something bigger here. So those skills that you just thought didn't mean much, or you didn't think you knew enough about it, you didn't think you were connected enough to spirit, you didn't think um, that you were being watched. <laughs> <laughs> by spirit, you had felt a little forsaken <laughs> and bam, it all changes for you overnight. It's just this brand new rebirth of Aries where you feel like you're in the spotlight now, rather than under the magnifying glass with the judgment, you feel like you're being honored. You feel like you're being respected. Your voice is being respected. Your ideas are being respected here. And it just plays all into this brand new rebirth for you. Oh my God, I just absolutely love this. I just love this energy you're coming into. Wow. All right, let's see what kind of energy is coming at Aries. Not that it matters. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, a little bit of apathy. I feel like this is kind of a worldwide thing right now because there's been so much overstimuli. There's been so much going on, so much fear being thrown at us for years now. So people have become a little apathetic and a little detached to um, desensitized to, to what's going on. Ace of Cups, people bringing you fulfilling, uh, real fulfilling emotional words here now, uh, making your heart overflow now, just really bringing you off of love and how much how how much they love you and how much they need you and just really making you feel needed and an integral part of this world which you are so how beautiful is that people responding to this new energy of yours <laughs> i love it tell me about the hangman death and rebirth look at this aries wow 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 you're living in a whole completely different world now it's the people are the same the faces are the same but they are not the same it's like you've gone through something together and there's this huge transformation energy coming to you and those around you so it's not going to feel weird to them as you go through this transformation because they're going through it with you and that's just so beautiful those are the enriching relationships that last for ever because um, you were holding their hand through it and they were holding yours. You were the guiding light and vice versa. So, wow, wow, that's so beautiful. <laughs> what about this healing? What about this four of swords? <clears throat> Look at this. The five of wands comes out. The six of swords and the eight of swords. Look at this moving on from the mind space because we're in the mind space here from competition, from comparison, from things that held you back, from sabotage, self-sabotage, the other sabotage. Um, it just really... It really was an energetic thing around you. It was a vibration around you. So that's why you felt it just so intensely because you're so psychic and you pick up on these vibrations that others are emitting here. So there was a vibration of competition, a vibration of jealousy around you in the mind. And so that led you to start comparing yourself to others on your path here. And boy, does that hold us back. It just, it just forms this, <clears throat> excuse me, this, 
this nightmare around us that we can never break through because what happens is you have to break through with your thoughts. And that's exactly what you and those around you have done. You've broken through those barriers, those self-inflicted barriers. Oh my God, this is so huge. I'm loving this. It's really big. I, I hope you know how big this is. It, it just, the tarot, um, doesn't seem to, um, sometimes it can just be so dramatic. And then sometimes it underplays because with all these major arcana, it's like a desensitize, a desensitization with the cards themselves. Because even if you had just gotten the fool or just gotten the empress or just gotten the star, it would have meant so much. It would have been so big with the major arcana here, but then to get all of it and then have your people get all of it as well. It's just so big. <laughs> Nine of cups, wishes fulfilled. The fulfilled on that healing. So people coming into their true authentic selves around you, you're forcing them to reveal themselves and they do. It's like you have expert. That's why it's, we are the world here because you're connecting people through this conversation, through this um, energy um, exchange that you're doing. It is an energetic exchange with the two of cups coming out on the Empress. So there's an exchange of energy happening with you right now. You're very, very open to energy. Aries, protect yourself from any kind of low vibrational beings because you're a magnet right now for energy. It's just like you're this beacon of, of light for energy. It's going to find you. And that means the good feeling energy too. So I'm just, you're, you're so prepared for this that I don't even have any advice for you. <laughs> king of cups, king of cups. I mean, everybody around you with the page of cups, everybody around you is reciprocating what you're giving out there. And you're just seemingly giving out this good advice, these kind words, these um, higher feeling thoughts, these higher feeling vibrational thoughts. So yeah, everyone around you is uh, taking it in. They're soaking you in. They want you around. <laughs> you are their wish. Love this. King of Wands. Yeah, look at the kings here. I mean, real royalty feeling coming to you. Like you're you're up on this pedestal and you're having conversations that you didn't used to have. It seems like there used to just be a lot of doom and gloom. And um, like I said, predicting of the future and it never really looked quite good in your vision of what was coming to you. You never had this really bright outlook of things that were coming to you. And then spirit just decided, yeah, it was your turn. You, you had done enough work on yourself. You had looked inside to change some things about your yourself. And that just pulled other people who had done the same thing. So they don't have these um, little uh, hmm, sensitivities. Like you can say anything you need to say around them and they're not offended. You're not offending people. You're teaching people who are not even asking for a classroom here <laughs> with judgment coming out here twice. I mean, my God, I love this reading. Aries, this is the best reading I've done for you in a very long time. There's just a real balance in energy. It's not just give to me Aries and I will take that energy and go do something else with it without returning it to you. This is instant karma. You're seeing conversations just really sparking up everywhere you go and deep conversations without it being any kind of triggers or any kind of, um, like I said, no one's offended. You're just teaching people how to have these real conversations. Look at the, my God, the major arcana coming out here with the magician. You're showing people there can be more than one path. There can be more than one way. There's many, many ways to do something. All paths lead to heaven and you are teaching this. You are teaching fairness and equality and there's no extremity here. There's no extreme here. So, wow, you have found this calm, collected, cool, balanced way of looking at the environment you're in, in the global uh, space we're in right now. You're holding space for light. You are absolutely a space holder for light right now. And you're a magician. You are magical. The veil is so thin. It's like you can feel it, Aries. I know if you've gotten this far with me in this video, I know you feel this change and you're mistaking it for 
anxiety. You're mistaking excitement for anxiety, Aries. And I am here to tell you, relax, relax. This is excitement. There's You're on the verge of something huge here, something nobody knows about you with the snake coming out as well. It's going to affect the world conversation. It's going to reverberate through your conversations out into the world and you're you're pulsing out this calmness it's like calm down chill out you're just uh, you've got this and you're teaching others how to come to the place that you are at. You are no, you are not reaching down to help people out of the dark because you know that if you get too close to that, you, you'll get sucked in. So you're holding your space of light. You're holding your space of knowing all as well. Even if those aren't the words coming out of your mouth, those are the words your soul is vibrating out right now. All is well. So people are coming up to meet you now. Wow, wow, wow. This is so beautiful. I'm really, really loving this. Four of Cups. There's that more apathy, you know, apathetic energy around you too. You're going to run into people that really don't care about the politics right now, don't care about, um, yeah, uh, these labels or stereotypes or um, they just don't care. They're into these deeper conversations, universal law conversations you're going to start having here in the very, very near future. And it just, it gives you so much enlightenment and so much freedom from your anxiety. Freedom from anxiety is what this is. You're moving into excitement out of anxiety. So, oh my God, I love this. Aries, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And I will definitely tune in with you soon. I hope you have a fantastical week.